This is in fact a turn decanter and uh, it comes with this delightful silver pedestal. And a turn decanter is like a spinning top. You put it on the table, give it a gentle turn and it rotates around and around and around. And that rotating action actually aerates the wine and at the same time exposing the surface of the wine to more glass area and actually warming the wine up at the same time. Um, this actually helps to lift the aromas of the wine. There are many other decanters that you can use. Then there's these 18th century claret jugs. Very, very handsome pieces of glass and silver and beautifully crafted. Originally to serve claret, which is the Bordeaux wine made of Cabernet Sauvignon and Merlot Melbeck, Cabernet Franc and Petit Bordeaux. These jugs are just extremely rare. They're collector's pieces and a great ornament to any grand dining table. Finally, there's a little bit of precaution as to maintenance of uh, your decanters. And what you need to clean a decanter and to drain it is this little decanting stick. Now it looks a little bit evil and I guess some of you are thinking about other things you could do with it. But essentially, once you've washed the decanter, you turn it upside down, leave it on the stick, it's got this little drip tray and the decanter drip dries. It's most important to have a clean, smellless decanter. The other thing, another way of decanting wine, and this is a superb example of an antique decanting machine, and what I'll do is I'll demonstrate using a wine that we've actually opened before, uh, in the decanting cradle. We'll put it in and um, again turning the, uh, the lever. It's a little bit of an antique this number. You notice that we've got to be very very gentle. We're uh, uh, gently turning the, the handle so we don't um, bring the wine down too fast. and uh, just quietly turning it and keeping an eye uh, on the sediment on the neck of the bottle making sure that there's no sediment actually coming down. This is a little bit noisy this machine it's um, quite an antique but you notice how the wine coming down splashing against the side of the of the decanter and warming up in the process. Now this is about as much as we're going to um, pour into this particular jug and we have ourselves a decanter full of red wine without any sediment.